What I'd like to talk about is your recommendations to the CDC as not a medical doctor, not a biological mother, um, and, and really not a teacher either. You had no business advising the CDC what the medical guidelines were for school closures, because now we have a nation of school children who have suffered because of it. The problem is, is people like you need to admit that you're just a political activist, not I'm a teacher, a not a mother, and not a medical doctor. You heard that, a lot of stress on not a biological mother, not a mother, again, repeating it. What is Marjorie Green talking about? Why is she so obsessed with that? Does it have to do with transphobia? No, 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 we're at something way more basic. That there is President of the American Federation of Teachers, the AFT, testifying on a panel about Something completely unrelated, which is free speech on college campuses. But of course, you got Marjorie Green there using this as a moment to grandstand. Um, and she's calling her not a biological mom because that there, uh, uh, the president, um, Randy Weingarten, is a stepmom. So take a look at that exchange. Ms. Weingarten, are you a medical doctor? I am not. Are you a mother? I am a mother by marriage. By marriage, I see. Quite Ms. Up. Weingarten, and you haven't taught school since the 90s, so you're not a teacher anymore. I um, am actually, Representative, I'm actually on leave from my teaching position. And this fall, I will be teaching as a guest teacher at Cornell, my alma mater. Okay, so. That's the genesis, right? Oh, You're not a mom, or you're a mother by marriage, I see. Oh, And married to a woman that's sort of implicitly in there as well. And then of course, using that as an angle to attack her um, specifically on, C on the CDC recommendations to close schools during a global pandemic. Um, Jenk, I, Marjorie thinks this hits real good. But it doesn't hit good. Like it's she's not coming across by going after her for not being a mom. Not a medical doctor. I don't think she ever claimed she was a medical doctor, but she is the president of AFT. I think she knows a thing or two about teaching schools education. Yeah. Um she did go too far. This one's official. And uh what's interesting about the right wing is, you know, Jewish space lasers, what all the other crazy uh, crap she said. They're like, oh no, we're totally good with it. A okay. Uh, January 6th, of course, are all patriots, so yada, yada. All the madness they're 100% on board for, but not this. Uh, so I uh, wrote a tweet today about this one and saying, so does, do, does everybody in the right wing agree that adoptive mothers and stepmothers don't count? They're not real mothers and, and the right wing now thinks it's a good idea to attack them as non real mothers. Yeah. And even like the most obnoxious right wing trolls are like, uh, no, no, uh, you can't just smear <laughs> us all by comparing us to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, okay. We've, so, we've hit a line. <laughs> yeah, apparently we've hit a line. And I, I guess, as far as I can tell, not one person defended her. You know why? Because there are stepmothers and adoptive mothers who are Republicans. Okay. Yeah. And so. She forgot the cardinal rule. So there's a couple of different cardinal rules in America, and you, they're not written anywhere, but you have to know them. Like the biggest crime in America is disrespecting a police officer, they could murder you for it. No, it's not written anywhere, it's not an actual law, but you gotta be careful. You can steal from anyone you want in America, as, as long as it's not rich people, then you'll go to jail. Otherwise, you can steal mm -hmm. all day long. These are unwritten rules, but they're big time rules nonetheless. And Marjorie Taylor Greene forgot the um, most important carnal rule for Republicans, attack the others. When we do attacks, we always attack outside of the wagons. And we say, oh, trans people, drag queens, black people, immigrants, Muslims. And you point and you get people really angry at the others, but you never attack inside the wagons. And that's what she just did there. Yeah. And there was pushback. So I want to just go to this. Uh, this is uh, from Representative Garcia. Who tweeted when Marjorie Taylor Greene says that adopted parents uh, or adopted or parents through marriage aren't real parents? You'll be damn sure I'll object. And immediately following that sort of barrage of I don't know what, just a just ridiculous, unfounded attacks. This is what Garcia said. I just want to make just make note that um, the. 
the decorum of the attacks on the witness were unacceptable that the general lady from Georgia just did. And so it'd be nice if we didn't attack the witnesses, um, particularly whether or not, whether, and making a decision about whether or not she's a mother. You are a mother. Thank you for, for, for being a great parent. Thank you. Thank you. Your point of order is recognized, Mr. Garcia. They went on and basically struck everything that Marjorie Green said from the record, which is like, that's cool to preserve decorum, but maybe for history's sake, we should remember how vile she is. <laughs> um, lastly, I just want to remind everyone, this is the only committee she's still on, guys. So she's only been allowed back onto the House Education and Labor Committee for the last few months after previously losing all of her committee assignments. So because she keeps on doing this kind of stuff. Yeah, so look. Uh I don't like the decorum argument, I hate it. Oh, She's been mean to us, etc. I get it, it's done in Congress and that's the way you're supposed to do it. I'm not trying to criticize that guy in particular. In fact, I think he did a good job overall in fighting back. But, and I don't like going personal. I don't, I wish we never talk about the personal lives of any of the politicians. But I believe in fighting fire with fire, I'm a little Old Testament like that. So the minute she goes personal and says, oh, you're not a real mother, you just raise those kids. I'd go, oh, really? Uh, well, at least I didn't leave my family for a tantric sex guru like you did, Marjorie <laughs> Taylor Greene. Okay, I'm not gonna take that crap. You give me fire, I'm gonna give you back an inferno. So talk to me more about your tantric sex guru and how good it was that it, you, you left your family for it. Jenk, if you were there on the committee, they would totally strike that from the record. Oh, I mean, yeah. we'd have the moment forever virally, but like. Yeah, he, here's who would get in a lot of trouble with the decorum police, <laughs> me. Yeah. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air, so all that all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.